Photo by Christian Peterson, Getty Images, Name, Michael Hardman Position, Wide Receiver School, Georgia Conference, SEC Class, Junior Jersey, No. 4 Recruitment Rating, 5 Star HT, 5 Feet 10 Inches WT, 183 DOB, The 12th of March 97 Rushing and Receiving Punt and Kick Returns Highlights, Most Explosive Wide Receiver in the SEC Pros, Speed, Speed, and More Speed. Michael Hardman is one of the fastest wide receivers in the 2019 draft class, 4.33 and he knows how to use it effectively on all three levels of the field. His speed allows him to easily run past off coverage and capture the edges of gadget player on jet sweeps, reverses, and end arounds. Dangerous with the ball in his hands and is a threat to take it to the house every time. Shows a good combination of quickness and speed to uncover both on underneath routes and down the field. Tracks the ball well on vertical routes and easily catches the ball over his shoulder. Ability to play on the outside or in the slot, but probably better suited to play on the inside until his game develops a little more. Natural hands catcher and has shown the ability to catch passes thrown outside his frame. Showed willingness as a blocker in Georgia's heavy run base defense. One of the better punt and kick returners in the nation the last few years due to his speed and elusiveness in the open field. He also offers value as a gunner on special teams. Is said to have some impressive leaping ability as well. Cons, Michael Hardman is still really raw as a wide receiver prospect after making the switch from defensive back at Georgia. Still learning the nuances of the position and his route running is a work in progress. Needs to develop a more diverse route tree, it was pretty basic with the Bulldogs. Also needs to show more urgency breaking in and out of his roots. His size is a limitation on tape. He shows the willingness as a blocker, but gets overwhelmed and out physical at times by bigger defensive backs. His size also hurts him in press coverage and contested catch situations. We'll need to learn how to beat press coverage in order to become an effective outside receiver in the NFL tends to hear footsteps causing concentration issues at times. A little too reliant on his natural God-given talent and needs to fine-tune several aspects of his game in order to continue his development as a WR prospect. Is a bit of a project at this stage of his career, but possesses rare speed and talent to become one of the better WRs in the 2019 draft class. Cowboys fit the Dallas Cowboys like versatility in their players and Michael Hardman has that in spades. He has speed to burn and with the Cowboys, he could fill a variety of roles as a rookie. He could be Cole Beasley's replacement in the slot, the primary punt and kick returner, a gunner on special teams, a gadget player on offense, jet sweeps, reverses, and arounds, and also the much-needed deep threat they've been missing in the passing game. Hardman is a player that could save the Cowboys a couple of roster spots due to all of the different roles he can play. He even has experience as a defensive back. This is a guy who reminds me a lot of Tyler Lockett, Tyreek Hill, and Deshaun Jackson and should be able to have the same kind of NFL success. For the Cowboys to acquire his services though they may have to use one of their day two draft picks. 2019 NFL Draft Dillas Cowboys Georgia Bulldogs Michael Hardman Wide Receiver Perry Nuts NFL We continue our recap of the 2019 NFL Combine by taking a look at some of the standout offensive linemen from the week. This is a strong offensive line class, and the Combine only appeared to make it stronger. Both on the interior and at tackle a couple of names emerged above the rest, and got themselves in the midst of early to mid first round discussion. Here are my notes on some of the best offensive linemen at this year's NFL Combine. Notes Andre Dillard, Washington State tested like a top three tackle in this class. At 6 feet 5 inches 315 pounds Dillard proved to be fluid, flexible, and athletic at the Combine just as he appeared on tape. He's as smooth as any tackle in this class in terms of pass protection, and can start a tackle in the NFL from day one. He 
He's earned a first-round grade on my board, along with Florida's Jawan Taylor and Alabama's Jonah Williams. Garrett Bradbury, NC State, might have had the best combine of any offensive lineman, and has put himself well into first-round discussions. Bradbury is currently IOL2 on my board behind Elgton Jenkins of Mississippi State, but he's a plug-and-play center in his own right. Speaking of plug-and-play centers in this year's draft class, meet Eric McCoy, Texas A. While not as polished his own blocker as Bradbury, McCoy tested like he can operate well on the second level in space. I have to go back and watch more of his college tape, but he ran a blazing 4.8940 yard dash, the fastest among all offensive linemen and looked fluid in the agility drills as well. Chris Lindstrom, Boston College, has been talked about as a first-round guard by many draft analysts over the last few months, but on film I just haven't seen it. At the Combine, however, Lindstrom looked more smooth and comfortable in his movements than I remember on tape. I'll have to go back and check on Lindstrom once again, but as of right now there is a significant gap between him and the top interior linemen in this class, Bradbury and Jenkins, on my board. Dalton Risner, Kansas State, deserves a shout-out for his work as the rabbit in the mirror drill alone, but as an actual prospect he continued to impress as well. Risner should be an instant starting tackle in the NFL, and he did nothing to hurt his stock or bring about second-guessing with his week at the Combine. Even with Jason Witten's return to football, the Dallas Cowboys should be in the market for a tight end in this year's NFL Draft. And, of course, the best place to get an up-close and personal look at the upcoming crop of tight ends was at the 2019 NFL Combine. The Cowboys kept a keen eye on a few of these tight end prospects, as they looked to separate certain players from the pack. Some smaller school guys shined, like San Jose State's Josh Oliver, while some other high-profile names faltered a bit. Here are my notes on the tight ends from the 2019 NFL Combine. Notes it was a rough day for Isaac Nauda, Georgia, and his believers. The 6 feet 3 inches 244 pound tight end started strong on the bench press with 19 reps but was disappointing on the field. Oda ran a 4.9140 yard dash and 7.453 cone, showing he may not have the receiving upside many hoped he would. This is not the end all be all for Nauda's draft stock, but it certainly took a hit. He'll likely need a strong pro day to get back and a second round conversation. Caden Smith, Stanford, was slow on film and his testing confirmed that. His 4.9240 yard dash was from impressive, but his film at Stanford should not have made you expect much different. His 7.083 cone was solid, though. Still, his testing confirmed why there are legit questions about his upside in the NFL. On the other hand, there shouldn't really be any questions about Noah Fant, Iowa. Fant is a certified stud, and was the absolute star of the combine in terms of tight ends. He's a first-round talent, and will likely find himself selected within that first night of the draft. Some expected Irv Smith, Alabama, to test better athletically than he did, but he still performed well enough to cement himself as TE3 in this class once again. His 7.323 cone was far from ideal, but a 40-yard dash in the 4 6 it combined with how good he looked in the actual on-field drills made this a solid combine performance for Irv Smith. He's got a second-round grade on my board, and nothing from the combine changed that. Foster Moreau, LSU, might have a higher ceiling as a receiver than anyone thought. Moreau was primarily used as a blocker in college, but he looked comfortable as a receiver in the on-field drills at the Combine. Moreau also ran a 4.6640 yard dash and put up 22 reps on the bench, two numbers which should hit just about every team's thresholds for drafting tight ends. Moreau was rather impressive, especially for what the hype or lack thereof was around him heading into the weekend. AP Photo, Michael Conroy The 2019 NFL Combine is just about complete, as the final group goes through their workouts Monday morning to cap off the weekend. Obviously the Cowboys were paying close attention to each group participating, but some groups stand out in particular due to team need. Running back is one of those areas.
Dallas is looking for someone to complement Ezekiel Elliott in the backfield, and add a pass-catching dimension to the offense. Here are some of my notes from the running backs at the 2019 NFL Combine. Notes Justice Hill, Oklahoma State, cemented himself as the running back draft crush of most of Cowboys Nation with his combine performance. The 5 feet 10 inches 198 pound back ran a 4.440 yard dash and had a broad jump of 130 inches. Unfortunately he didn't finish out the agility drills due to injury, but you can tell how shifty and athletic he is on tape as well. Hill looks to be the perfect complement to Ezekiel Elliott that the Cowboys can find in the late round. Miles Sanders, Penn State, is another candidate to be that third down, pass-catching type back for the Cowboys going forward. Sanders ran a 4.4940 yard dash and a 6.893 cone at the Combine, turning heads around the league. Sanders is an excellent pass catcher out of the backfield, and can fill the Lance Dunbar role Dallas has been looking for over the last few drafts. Someone is going to steal a workhorse back in Benny Snell, Kentucky, this year. He didn't test well, that much is clear. His 40-yard dash clocked in at 4.66 seconds, and his three-cone was over 7 seconds. Snell is a throwback running back, however, who can pound defenses between the tackles for four quarters. He isn't the compliment to Elliott which Cowboys fans are looking for, but he's a gamer, and will be a nice pickup on day three of this year's draft. Devin Singlet Harry Kfau is another back who plays much better than he tested at the Combine. Singlet Harry only timed in with a 4.66, 40-yard dash and 7.323 cone, but he's a second-round player on film. Still, his testing indicates he won't be a real candidate to play that third-down role for the Cowboys. Dallas would get a ton of use out of Daryl Henderson, Memphis, but after this weekend I doubt they get a shot at him. He ran really well with a 4.4940 yard dash and has some impressive tape as well. Henderson is looking more and more like a top 75 pick, and might have played, tested his way out of the Cowboys range.